Hi everyone, and thanks for stopping by. Just give you a quick uh, progress report on my Bansador build so far. You'll have seen it uh, at the beginning of this clip running. Uh, just turned by hand. I haven't put the motor on it yet, and uh, I want to get the guards on uh, on it uh, before I start running it from a motor. Um, this is the guard I had sitting on it. I built this here up, uh, and it just it just slides over the wheel. I've got to put its uh, fixtures on the on the back here to hold it in place by itself. I had it clamped on before. I've also finished building the adjustment here that uh, moves the top wheel up and down and also tilts it backwards and forwards. It's got quite a large range of movement there. Now I've done a couple of modifications um, that won't be obvious to anybody who hasn't got the plans. Uh, first thing I've done is I've actually added this piece of steel down the bottom here. The original plans caused, called for um, screws to be drilled in through here and just screw it into the the back of this piece here uh, which is quite good because it actually stops it from falling falling out or kicking out at the bottom um, I have put the plate there it's basically going to do the same thing for me and uh, it just makes it a lot easier to move I'm not putting stress on, on screws there. I don't think it'll be a pro problem with screws, but I, I thought I'd try this plate and see how it goes. The other thing I've done is, uh, again, just a minor change, is that at this point here I meant to have a 10mm um, or 3 8 uh, T-nut, which goes in here. Now I can't get those uh, here at all, and even if I could I'd probably have to buy them in a bag of 100 or whatever. So all I've done is I just took a a plain washer. It's an eight millimeter washer. Um, it's about two and a half millimeters thick. And I just run a, uh, a tap through the center of it and tapped a ten millimeter hole in it to suit my ten millimeter threaded rod. I've still got to make the the handle for the back here. Yeah. Now the other thing I did is, as you saw, I had the blade on it and it was running very nicely. It, um, it's not biting into the tyre rubber at all, so there's, there's no marks on the, uh, on the rubber tyre here for where the blade uh, teeth have been biting in, so that's, that's good. But one thing I didn't realise when I brought the, the blade for here is that 105, which is the measurement for the blade, is the absolute minimum size for this machine. So if uh, you inadvertently make your, your wheel a millimetre bigger or you've got the shaft here a millimetre higher than it should be or the bottom shaft a millimetre lower you're going to have a lot of trouble getting it in place. And that's what happened to me. I ordered the blade at 105 inches. I thought that 105 would be in the centre here of, of adjustment and uh, I'd have a bit of adjustment up and down but that's not actually the case uh, 105 is right down the bottom here and when I got the blade I found that it was just that bit too small it would not go over and um, so I had a bit of a, a, th a think about what the best solution to the problem was uh, I could have cut a little bit out of here it wouldn't have uh, hurt the strength of the machine here it would have got the top top shaft that little bit lower and given me the uh, the fit I needed uh, I didn't want to certainly didn't want to touch this piece I don't want to diminish its, its strength at all so in the end what I came up with was I built an entire new top shaft piece here and uh, as you can see I've moved the uh, top shaft down here about Six, six millimeters there which has given me another 12 millimeters of blade to play with and now the blade fits fits nicely later on when uh, I finally get rid of that blade or get a new one made I can uh, just simply drop this block here and instead and away I go all will be uh, back as it should be 
But I don't anticipate any problems with this piece. I dare say I'll find out as I go along. Um, it certainly won't affect its operation. It's only if uh, if the wood should uh, should break, and I I just don't see a block of this sort of size uh, breaking. So um, that's just a bit of a warning. If anybody's building one of these machines and uh, is wondering what blade size they should get, uh, I would say definitely get it bigger than 105, probably somewhere 107. At, yeah, about 107, probably. Uh, better still do what I should have done and uh, wait for the uh, both bottom, top and bottom wheels to be uh, mounted. Run a piece of string around the uh, the two wheels and get a measurement off that and then get a blade made uh, to, to suit. That would uh, be the best option in my opinion. Rightio guys, well that's the progress so far on the saw and uh, hopefully this weekend I'll get a bit more chance to uh, proceed a bit further. Okay, cheers.